you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. My name is Monica. If you didn't know, now you know. So today I'm going to help you get a natural look, makeup look. So let's jump right on in. I already did my hair. So first, my power stuff. First, I am going to need my teaser makeup brush. Wherever she went, because she went and she stayed. So you're gonna need one of these brushes. So I call it an eyebrow comb, or you can also use one that comes with a brow pencil. But, ooh, I didn't get that on my clothes. Some glue. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is contain it. So either, either one can work, but I like to use this one. And I'm just using this for the mirror. So, basically what I like to do is comb my brow out. And now I need to get my brows done, waxed, but I haven't had time. So, let me show you how I bring them back to life. And I usually just go ahead and comb both of them while I'm in it. Hmm. So let's go ahead and get it, get it, get it, get it. Pop in. Okay. So I'm going to be using an eyebrow brush to apply the product. This is just, it's by LA Colors Pro Eyebrow. Oops. So, it's simple, it's cheap, it's not very expensive, and it gets the job done, okay? And I'm gonna be using my Anastasia eyebrow powder. And I'm soon gonna have to buy me a new one, but this is how it looks on the inside. And this is how it looks on the back side. And it also comes with a mirror. Okay. So I want to start off by applying my eyebrow powder. I'm going to use two of these. I don't know what that is on there. So this is how I do it. So I'm going to start. By, and I, when I do my eyebrows, some people do it different, but I use both of the powders in the ends. In the inside of this product, I use both of them. I just swipe it like that. And then I just start and I create. I basically just create my eyebrow how I want it. Little strokes. And I fill it in. And I just basically just go the directions that my eyebrow grows. Yeah. And sometimes I may make it a little big, just so when, um, I started out, I can kind of make my eyebrows even. And I like to make this part, especially the arch part, and this part. I kind of like to tease this area right up in here. And I'm trying to make it as dark as possible. And so that's how it looks. 
but we are going to clean the eyebrows up. So I like to take my tamer, my eyebrow brush, and I like to kind of let it blend in a little bit. And then I take a little bit more powder. And basically, I just brush, brush it, brush it the way I want the hairs to lay. So then we're going to go to our next one. And this one, I try to least, I have to make it bigger because this is like the one with the thinner hair. And I like to comb my eyebrows, well, the hairs on my eyebrows upward. Okay. I have two concealers. I have one I got from Walmart. It's the Fit Me. I need to buy some more of that. Sorry. Clumsy. But this is the one I use for my eyebrows. And this is the, four, the Sephora brand. And I use it up under my under eyes. I don't really like it for my um, I don't really like it for my eyebrows. So what I do is I'm going to take the mirror again that I was using and I'm going to, and, I'm, and I use a beauty blender to clean it up, okay? So what I do is I want to start with this eye stand. It wants to play. And I'm going to show you how I correct mines when it went wrong. Or if you didn't achieve the shape that you want for your eye, I'm going to show you how to fix that. And also, go like right there. See that? Then what I usually do, I definitely, I have to pick some of this up today. So what I do then is I take that same raw brush and um, powder and I fill it in again, just a little, just a little bit more, just to get a better that shape that I want. So I just, like I want that to be more down more. I didn't mean to do that. So then, what I'm doing is blonde. This blonde, this is coming out this way. And then I take my beauty blender, which is still damp because I cleaned them today, but I can't get that out. And it's concealer, it's exactly what it is. And I just rub down. And then I just follow the line all the way out see that see it and then i cup it where it cuts off and then i just 
the same thing for up under the brow. Like that. Now, if you feel like you can do some more cleaning up to the brow, you can always go back. But I'm not gonna mess with it right now. I'm gonna wait till I do the other side and then I'll go back and try to fix it a little bit. So I kinda just kinda. So I'm not gonna mess with it until I do the other side. So, I'm gonna take my Fit Me, which is really a good concealer. It's my favorite concealer. I promise you guys, the more I do this, the better I get doing, at doing this. So, you wanna just go above the brow. Just above it. And at the bottom, you just want to go below. Not too much. Kind of cut that one a little bit. And then I draw the line. See how I did that? And then take your tamer brush, tame it a little bit more. You want to take your brow brush again, and then you just want to fill in that line again. You guys seeing it? And I just see where I start right there, and then I just basically fill that line in some more. Oof. I didn't mean to hit it right there. So we'll fix that. So then you want to take your beauty blender and you want to slide. Cut off more. Do it one more time. Then I hope you guys can hear me because I have a tendency of mumbling when I film so I'm still learning so then what I do is I dab where I put the other stuff at then I'm gonna take that brow brush again and I'm gonna hit it slightly slightly not hard. But slightly. And you can do it to the other side as well. At the top a little bit. And they're both. By the way, I don't know anybody that can't get their brows just to be I mean be just the exact way they want them to be okay so that's that one it took me 15 minutes to do my brows so then I want to get that other concealer that's the four concealer and I actually want to put it up under my eye up under the eye again kind of want to stop it in the same way and then I also want to put it going down my nose and I usually do it just like that But let me know what you guys think. And 
make sure you like comment and subscribe comma i mean comment and please give me a thumbs up and let me know if you truly like this look my other beauty blender it's already down because i washed it so it's not gonna hurt and then you just want to pat it in blot it in because this is like the highlighting method and you just want to blot it in nothing serious you just when and you want to do it before it dries honestly and i cleaned them with dawn soap so it ain't gonna hurt nothing it ain't gonna hurt any old thing dawn soap you can wash your dogs and everything and it. it's very sensitive i mean it's not very sensitive but it's a good cleaner for that. And that is basically what I do for that, like the highlight area. I don't want to do a cakey or anything, but and then. I like to take my Finning Beauty. This is Kilowatt. No, this is Mean Honey and Hustler, baby. Yeah, Kilowatt. And I usually use the the Mean Honey. Well, I use Hustler, baby. I use both of them. And I like to take and kind of put it where I need to highlight it. Put it, I use both of them. Honestly. So I basically just do it like that. Get that nail to the bridge. Add a little here and there. Chin. I don't put any concealer there. And then the next thing I like to do, if you are into this thing, I have this eyeshadow that I got from the Dollar General store. It was on sale, half off, and I said there are some pretty colors. If you you have to do what folks your boat, you know, if you're on a budget, and me seeing things like this, I'm like, okay, it's it's nice. It's nice colors. I usually go for these type of colors. They go really good with my skin color. I have this palette from Victoria's Secret, All Eyes on You, and I hate opening it, that's how it looks, I don't, see I like these colors, but I usually, I don't know about that black, black is not really my color, but I have this. It's by LA Colors. I love LA Colors. And if you notice, they have all the, sh the, the shades from the other palette. And then I also have this Glow palette that I got. I thought it was nice. I got it from Moss. And you also, if you want to, you can mix your highlighters. So, um, you could do, like, the gold color, do a little gold, Glenn, yeah, you can add both if you want. I'm just showing you guys what I'm working with. And I'm um I got yellow and black on, so I gotta coordinate with that. So I think I'm gonna do a little gold, a little shimmer gold. I think I heard anything. 
Bring that on. Get a little shimmering going. I already put my lashes on because that's something that I'm uh, still learning to do. So, whatever. I can't do it on camera. I just can't do that on camera, okay? Ain't got that, y'all. Now, it's optional. You can put on the top eyeliner, but since I have lashes on, I'm not going to do with it. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to deal with it today. Yeah, I'm not. But usually I use the Finny Beauty um, Fly Liner. But I'm just doing this no eyeliner thing. So. But you can go in with one of these and, you know, whip it up. But if I didn't have lashes on, then I may put some of this on. But since I have lashes on, I'm not going to do it. So we're going to go in with a lip. Is whatever you prefer. And I have different liners. I don't really like liner like that. But we can do a dark liner. If you guys want to see me do that. to take some of this Anastasia cool brown matte lipstick and I like to add that in the middle of my lips and then I want to go in with this NK Makeup Matte Silk um, Tosca color. And that one on the sides. Okay. blend it in together and you know like clean up the lip a little bit I don't know if I like this I don't know if I like it or not I'm gonna kind of erase the lip liner a little bit because it's not really what I want. Anyway, so this is the final look. Anyway, this is the final look.
And yeah, I still have blemishes, but this is as natural as you can get without putting a full face of makeup on. So yes, let me know what you guys think about this. And I don't know why that eyelash, I don't know why that eyelash is doing that. But let me know what you guys think. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Comma, I mean, comment, and please give me a thumbs up. And let me know if you truly like this look. 